Building data apps can be quite challenging for developers. Typically it involves a learning curve with web development frameworks, integrating various libraries, handling front end and back end code, and then making sure all of this works seamlessly together. Not to mention the time it takes to design a UI and then deploy the app. Well, this is where Streamlit addresses this problem. Streamlit handles the front end for you, providing a clean and interactive UI out of the box. Streamlit simplicity helps developers focus on their data and functionality rather than being bogged down by the web development. Okay, so I opened up my PyCharm IDE. I named this first Streamlit app and my environment that I'm gonna use is Conda, but you can use anything you like, including virtual environment or VENV. So then click create. Okay, now that the project is set up, I'm gonna right click my project directory, go to new and then click Python file, and then just name this main. Okay, well, the first thing we need to do is install Streamlit. And to do that, open up your terminal and type in pip install Streamlit. Now that it's done, we can clear our terminal, then minimize it and let's begin. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and import Streamlit. So type in import streamlit as st this is common practice we're going to go to another line and then we're going to add our first element which is the title and you can simply say st dot title then let's give it a title first streamlit app okay next what we're going to do is add a few more elements to the screen these are going to be inputs and then we're going to do something with those inputs and the first thing we want to do is have somebody give us their name so we can say name is equal to st dot text input and say, enter your name. And then the next element is we want to ask somebody their age, but this time we'll say age equals st dot number input because we only want a number, say enter your age. And then we can give a few more parameters. So we want the minimum value to be zero and then the max value to be 120. And then in increment this by one. Now we want to have somebody be able to select something and we just want to ask them what their favorite color is. So we're going to say color is equal to st.select box, select your fav favorite color. And what we can do here is give an array of colors to choose from. So we'll, we'll just give three here. So red, yellow, and orange. And the next element I want is a simple checkbox. And we can show some more information if that checkbox is selected. So we can say show more is equal to st dot checkbox, then we say show more information. Okay, so now we have a bunch of input elements that will be on the screen when we go to run this, but no, we don't really do anything with that yet. So what I want to create is a submit button that whenever that is clicked, then we display all this information back to them. And we can do this by having an if statement. So if st dot button, we're gonna name the button submit. So this is basically saying, if we click the button, then we can do something, okay? We're gonna say age in dog years is equal to age times seven. So we're taking the age variable, whatever they put in that, and then we're going to multiply that by seven and then display that. Then we can say st.write. And this is a common one. When you say st.write, this just writes text onto the screen. And we're gonna format the text with the F for format. And then we'll say hello. And then because of that, we can have these curly braces and then add a variable inside of the string. So we can say hello and then whatever name they give as the text input on line five. And then I just copy and pasted this because we're gonna do the same thing with the age. So we say you are this many years old, which is this many years in dog years. And also your favorite color is whatever you, add, uh, whatever you chose in the select box. If somebody uh, selects this checkbox, then we want to show more information. And what we can do is we can say if show more because it is a variable. And this is basically a Boolean, so it's either true or false. If show more, then we can say st dot write. Here's more information just for you. And now let's just give some sort of information about dogs. So we'll say st dot write again. This is going to be common. Dogs typically live to be around ten to thirteen years old in human years. I don't know if that's correct statement or not, but I'm just showing you an example. All right, so what we've done here is we've added a submit button that when it's clicked, we have some logic. And then if the show more checkbox is checked, then we also show something else onto the screen. And now finally, what we can do is run our app using the Streamlit CLI. What we do is go to our terminal, so open that up. We are already in the directory where our main.py uh, file is located. And then we just type in streamlet run main.py. And this is gonna run a local server. It actually happened pretty quick. And here are all of the elements on the screen. So let's type in, my name is Tyler. Uh, let's say my age is 30. That's not my actual age. 
and my favorite color out of these three options, let's say orange. Okay, and you can see this is the step counter. So whenever you increment or, increment or uh, decrement, it goes down or up by one. And then if I hit submit, we're basically just regurgitating this information or the logic that we created from the submit button. Now also there's this show more information here. So if I select this, here's more information just for you. Dogs typically live around 10, 13 years old in human years. And we can click submit button again and it shows everything. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want to see more AI and app development, please subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, I have two courses that get you started in AI development using Autogen, which is a multi-agent framework. If you don't know what that is, that's fine because I explain it in the videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next video.